Welcome to ProjectCAD Basics for Beginners. This is Entity Selection Methods. To find links to any downloadable resources available for this video, make sure to check the description box below. We've already seen the most basic method of selecting objects when we learned about erasing entities. ProjectCAD prompts you to select entities to delete, and the cursor crosshairs switch to a small pick box. Hover over the desired entity and left click the mouse. You'll stay in selection mode until you press enter on your keyboard. There is a bit more to it than that though. I'll quickly draw two more lines to demonstrate. I'll launch the erase command again to get the selection prompt and pick box, then select all three lines. All seems fine until you realize you only need to select the outer two lines and not the middle one. Yes, you could hit the escape key and start over, but there is an easy way to remove things from your selection set. While still in the entity selection mode, you can type R onto the keyboard to switch from addition mode to removal mode. I'll do that now, and you'll see that the prompt changes to subtract entities from selection set. Just click on the middle line to remove it. To change it back, type A for addition, and I'll be able to select the middle line again. An even faster way to toggle between removal and addition modes is with the shift key instead of the R and A. Press it down during selection addition mode and it will turn it into removal mode. Release a shift key and it will return to addition mode. Notice that the dynamic input prompt includes an arrow down icon as an option. Press the arrow down key on your keyboard. Two options will be displayed, filter and Q select, which is shorthand for quick select. I'll select filter. The input box will change to display the select by filter menu. It's important to note here that this filter method works on everything in your drawing, so you're not physically selecting anything. To select my three lines, I could use the type filter, set it to line, then exit and all lines in my drawing would be selected. In my case, only the three shown. If I were to select color and specify red, then exit, nothing would be selected. The other option from the dynamic selection prompt is Q select, which again is short for quick select. It is much more powerful than filter and probably outside the scope of this beginner's course. It too will work across your entire drawing or you can select the entities you want to query. You'll work your way down from top to bottom to build your query. Disregarding my simple three line example, you might set it to select all circles that have a diameter of two inches and create a new selection set. It's a fantastic tool and something you should investigate further as you gain more experience in ProjectCAD. Let's get back to single entity selection, which is fine when you only have one or even just a few things to select. It's not so great if you have to select dozens or hundreds of entities. That's where our next method comes in. Let's consider our three lines again. Instead of selecting them one at a time, you can employ one of the two modes of window selection. I'll launch the erase command again and this time at the selection prompt, I'll move my cursor up and to the left of the three lines. I'll click once, then pull my cursor down to below the lines and to the right. You'll notice that a selection box is drawn with a blue background and solid borders. This is a visual aid to let you know which mode you are using. Whenever you create the selection box by going from left to right, you are in a window selection mode, meaning that the entire entity must be within the blue box to be selected. Just click for the second corner and all three lines are selected. I'll escape and do it again. This time though, I'll not get the entire third line. Click for the second corner and you'll see that only the first two lines are selected. I'll escape again to demonstrate the other selection mode. This time I'll start from above the lines and to their right. I'll pull the cursor down to below them and to their left. Without clicking the second corner yet, you'll notice some differences. First, its background is now green, the box itself is dashed, and the entities within it are highlighted. This is a crossing selection box, meaning that any entity that crosses its boundary will be selected. I'll escape again to start over and repeat the second selection from before, but this time with the crossing box. Notice that this time, the third line is not completely within the box, but it does cross into it, therefore it is included in the selection set. One final word on these selection methods, you can either click for both corners as I've been doing, or you can click the first corner, hold down your mouse key and drag it to the next point. 
It's all the same to ProjectCAD. The single entity selection and the inclusive and crossing window methods will probably be sufficient for most all of your selection needs, but there are a few other options that could come in handy for you sometimes. After all, there are times that entity selection can become complicated. Using our three lines again, and again the erase command, I can enter WP or CP at the selection prompt to access window polygon or crossing polygon. Let's look at those. I'll type WP and roughly draw a polygon that encloses the two outer lines and excludes the inner one. Hit enter when you're done and the two outer lines will be selected. I'll escape and restart the erase command. This time I'll type in CP. I'll create my freeform polygon again that crosses over my outer two lines. Notice they're highlighted, indicating they will be selected. One final thing to note, with the WP and CP options, the direction you go doesn't matter, unlike the window and crossing boxes. They are, however, color-coded the same way. Finally, there is a fence option, accessed by typing F at the selection prompt. This option allows you to draw a crossing selection path. Any entity that is touched by this path will be selected. Just hit enter to exit the fence option and return to the single entity selection prompt. You can find out more information, download their 30-day free trial, or purchase your own ProjectCAD license at www.projectcad.com.